Passport. This information may be seen. Comment. Add a short comment. I'm gonna do the Liam Gallagher thing. Hey, step right up! Come on, you know! I'll be taking that. <laughs> Some really easy miles to claim. You can use the amiibo cards at resident services. I mean, the only resident I want is Scoot Rescue Service. Oh, if you, like, are terrible. Like, you get stuck in a rock somewhere, you can call Rescue Services. Cherry. Mm, no! No, I'm good! No! Oh. You're out late. Fine, thanks a ton for earlier. I got my tent all set up and running thanks to that pep talk. The brochure said we'd be living on an uninhabited island, so I was all ready to go solo, you know? I could totally go for having Rockstar like you around, though. Let me know if you need anything. Are you missing a glove, perhaps? I was thinking about how to thank you. I came up with a recipe for a leaf umbrella. Alright, so the first thing I thought when I got here was, now that's a lot of weeds. <sighs> that's where I got the idea. It's a DIY project that uses weeds. Ugh, a smoke frog. If you've never done a DIY project, you should ask Tom Nook to help you out. He's doing free DIY demos over at, Resi at Resident Services. What's up, you know? Come on, you know! Lay it on me. Tom Nook's doing sign-ups for a DIY demo session. Probably like the PAX demo. Imagine them doing a PAX demo for this game and just having it be like 15 minutes of learning the tutorial crafting service and not any of the fun stuff. Like, finding gloves... across the map. Oh, it was exactly that, yeah. Must be sleepy time. No, wake up! Damn it, Louie. Are these all weeds? Man, this, this place needs some serious de-weeding. I guess it was a deserted island. I like that you can carry many, many, many stacks now instead of just, like, a couple. There's already, like, a lot of uh, inventory room. I think there's gonna be more that you can upgrade later. Can you rotate the camera outside like you did in the tent? No. So you have... Oh, moon looks nice. Uh, you get a couple of options. You got this. You got zoom up. And you got look up. That's it. Very, very, very basic. Which, I've always said Animal Crossing would be nice with a, a third-person option. So it could be like Fortnite. And we need a gardener. I need to set one of my villagers on priority one for gardening. Cutting weeds. Let me create a post. You know what, chat? I'm just gonna, like, use my touchpad. I'm gonna create a post. You won't see it, but uh, you'll see it when the, you know. Come on, you know! Just give me a second here. I'm gonna, I have, uh, what are those things? Conductive things? Why can't I use my words? I don't know what's happening. It's, um, stylus. Conductive stylus. Where is the conductive stylus? Good. Lost it. Excellent. Vinny can't see. I know, I have the switch in my hand. I'm using handheld mode so I can use the touchscreen. All right, so fine. Finger it is. This isn't... ...really indicative of my full potential as an artist, as many of you know. Um... I tried to draw Lenny, but I just kind of drew fingers with dots on them. My full potential as an artist would have been me drawing the rest of the hand. I'll be taking those miles now, thank you. What did it say? Influence? Oh, that's me! Ugh. Hey Vine, welcome, welcome. As you can see, it's quite cozy in here. Funny how cozy doesn't always mean comfortable, hmm? Let me know if you need advice on how to spend your time on this island or anything else. If you need some advice about basic island materials, you should talk to Timmy. He can help you procure some of the essentials for thriving in our little power. I need an axe, please. If you want to earn some bells, he has some rather generous policies of purchasing just about anything. Not strictly advisable from a business perspective, but quite generous. Yes, yes. One more important thing. I'm offering a free DIY workshop that can help you really build out your island experience. I think it will be quite useful. So I do hope you take me up on it. I see you've discovered my DIY workbench. Yes, yes, the DIY workshop. Each participant will make and keep their own... Where do you go to the bathroom on this island? Is there toilets? Their own tools and receive a set of... In the river. 
DIY recipes, I think it will be quite useful for island life, hmm? So I shall put you down for the next available session. Okay. Yes, yes. That's the spirit, the island spirit. I happen to be free right this very moment, so let's get started. Vinny, they're animals. Well, I'm not. I'm human animal. And I require, like, a squirt. Like a bidet. They bidon't. I bidet. I... I bidu. Welcome to my... I'm so sorry, chat. I'm so sorry. This is really... There's a lot of people here right now, and you don't need to be... You can be anywhere else, and then you come here and you have to hear that shit. Welcome to my DIY workshops. I suppose workshop is overselling it a bit. When you see how simple it is to DIY or do it yourself, you'll understand what I mean. The basic idea is to gather materials, follow a recipe, and craft using a workbench uh, like this one. Today we'll be constructing a fishing rod using common materials that you can find anywhere, yes? For this particular recipe, we, re re we require a mere five tree branches. It is admittedly a little flimsy. Come see me once you've collected the material. It's good materials. Someone said, lost 20k viewers, lol. But, that would mean I have negative 10k viewers. How does that work? What does that mean? If you have negative 10k viewers? Does that mean that 10k people are telling other people not to watch me? It means you had 30k and now you have 10k. I see what you mean. I like my version better. Where I had 10k and now I have negative 10k. 10k doesn't even sound like a real word anymore. 10k. What does 10k mean in another language? I'm sure it means something. T-E-N-K-E -E with the fucking tilde above it. It sounds like it would be thank you in maybe some other language. 10k. Danke. It's German. Danke. Ah, vine. Found the necessary materials. Well then, let's get started on crafting the fishing rod. Yes, yes, to begin, just select a project from the workbench and get started. Go ahead, give it a try! This game is hard. How does one play this game? Flimsy fishing rod. And this is basically what PAX was showing of Animal Crossing, in my understanding. I didn't actually wait online for the demo, but as people were playing it, it was this. There's just one last thing. I have a few common DIY recipes for you free of charge. I'll just need to send them over to your nuke phone. Would you mind opening it up? Oh man. Animal Crossing and technology. Free, he says. That'll be another 10,000 bells. 100 bells each time you use the phone. Wouldn't be surprised. My first hundred bells. Oh fuck, I made- I sent the text. Uh-oh. It's gone. Then he keeps shaking them. Oh, you can- you can shake a lot. Shake, shake! What game had a spin mechanic where you would, like, twirl the stick <laughs> and the character would spin? Pokemon. Alright, okay. Show you a master. I've been playing Hades. I know how to fish. This is a master angler. I am. I'm Emery V. I am. Yes, I caught a black bass, the most metal of all fish. Black bass. Metal? Like a black bass? What are you doing? What does that mean? I caught a stone. Now it's all mine, mine roll, mine, mine, mineral, mine roll, oh. Carl, you're an idiot, play a record. I like that you can shake trees while you have your fishing rod out. I was gonna say, just rod. While you have your rod out, but that was, that would have been weird. Not the bees. Not this time. I like that someone has to actually compose anxiety music in Animal Crossing. Like, that's someone's job. And what's the context for this one? Oh, uh, bees. Alright, thanks. Anyway, crafting system is new for anyone who's new to the series. 
and um, it's just another way to do things. <laughs> How could I forget? I should give you a brief explanation about that terminal. That is our Nook Stop. It's a terminal for services that will further enhance your island life at the moment. Nook Stop? Hmm. At the moment, you can use two services, Vine. First is Nook Shopping. It's a catalog shopping service for items that can be hard to find on an island. Second, Terminal Services, an automatic bell dispenser, or ABD, for the Bank of Nook. We're also working on a service by which you'll be able to redeem Nook Miles for various things. Please take advantage of these wonderful services. Quite beneficial indeed, yes, yes. Once per day, accessing Nook Stop will award you daily bonus miles. Oh. Elephant Slide? That's in the game, but... Froggy Chair is not? <laughs> and I gotta get that. Ah, uh, Vine, hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I found a creature. Oh, what a catch. I do believe this is a black bass. Hmm. Sorry, bass. If this island can support a black bass, who, who knows what other fantastic creatures we might find living here. Vine, I have an idea. An old friend of mine runs a museum. I'd love to send it to him for a closer look. Would you be okay with that? Okay! Thank you. I promise that I'll take extra good care of your black bass. In this tiny little bag. Oh, that reminds me. This is in no way tied to your generous donation just now, but I have a useful app to show you. Critterpedia. <laughs> Centipedia. I sent you the Critterpedia app. It's a terrific resource for an aspiring island researcher such as yourself. With this one app, you'll get all the important details about the bugs and fish you catch. Yes, yes. I do hope you continue to fill it with your discoveries and share them with me, too. I'm sure I'll be able to come up with some kind of additional reward, hmm? Vinny, go to the airport to get Scoot. I'm in no rush. We can get Scoot. Scoot is- will be here. That much I know. When Scoot be here, who know be here, but not now. It doesn't matter. Oh, you have to actually, like, read the cards. Oh, I see. I see. Um, I, honestly, I'm surprised crafting wasn't in Animal Crossing before this. It's just such an obvious thing for this game. Can I really not find 100 bells? Okay. Are there any microphones on the Switch? Or the Switch controllers? Your order will be delivered shortly to your home through the mail. Man, even in Animal Crossing, everyone's doing their shopping online. Welcome, welcome. Don't waste any time, do you? We're still setting up, but for starters, we intend to offer a small selection of goods to our island residents. Space is limited right now, but we'll try to have some fresh stock each and every day. I'm sure you're busy, but feel free to look at some of the items we're thinking of selling. Great! Sleeping bag and barbecue. Oh. Oh, there's this stuff, too. I can't afford any of it. We'll also buy things, including stuff you've gathered on the island. Because we want to support efforts to beautify the island, we'll even pay you a little bit in return for any weeds or trash you bring in. Nice. Oh, how silly of me to forget. I need to give you a brief inter introduction for that box there. That is a recycle box for all the island residents to use. We'll be using it for items removed during construction and such. Yes, if you see anything you like, feel free to take it right on home. If the box gets full, we'll get rid of the oldest items first, so don't delay in picking out what you want. I'll take that. Cardboard box. Snakey! Snakey, you need to use the box. Oh, Vine, it's great to see you. The campfire was a lot of fun. We're here all night, so feel free to stop by if you need to talk about anything island-related. I'll be out and about during the day, checking in with everyone, seeing how folks are doing. If you're ever unsure about what you want to do, what you should do, don't hesitate to stop me for a chat. I could just make a fuckload of weed brellas. And then just sell them. That's- that's- that is how stonks work. Internet Surfer. I want the title of Butthole Surfer instead, that's... It's a band chat. Maybe some of you have never heard of that band, and, and that would probably came across as a very weird statement, but... Don't worry about it. Critterpedia. Oh, look at that. You even get to see their... Their full details and art and everything. That's nice. A lot of fish and bugs. 
If you eat fruit, you will work faster? I don't know if that's true. That's just what someone in chat just said. Hmm. Uh, hang on a sec. How'd you get in here? Could have swore I locked the front door. It doesn't matter. We're still getting set up here, so there's no flights today. Sorry about that. Should be open for flights tomorrow, though, so be sure to come on back then. All right. No scoot tonight. Hey, you showed up, you know? Let's talk. Kind of moved here on a whim. I'm not sure I brought enough bells with me, you know? Like, you hear Deserted Island and you think you're not even going to need money. Well, yeah, I need a plan. Hmm, I heard I can get bells selling fruits and weeds and stuff to Timmy. If I do that, maybe I'll be all right. Give Tom more critters. All right, I will fetch Tom more critters. The sounds of the ocean are very nice and calming. I feel calm! Sorry. Yeah, cans that look like fish. Yeah. This empty can could be repurposed. I've got an idea for a DIY recipe. Big, big lad. Yes. Sea bass. No, wait. It's at least a C plus. God, their puns are getting worse. They ran out of all the good ones years ago. Like Vinny tier puns. Yes. Caught a dab. Not bad. Thank God there wasn't a custom dab animation for catching a dab fish. There's a lot of dab emotes in Twitch chat right now from many, many different channels. I don't know what it is. It's just a movement that a human body can do. It's just, it's the way you move, you move your arms into a weird position and you move your head down, that's all it is, but yet it fills me with rage, and I don't know why. I think it's the connotation. It's the implication. I am Boomer Sauce, that's right. I don't know how to dab chat. My arms don't make those good things. They don't do them things. Caught a fresh water goby. Time to go bye-bye. Wait, what? Goby? Goby? Go bye-bye? Goby? Go Goodbye? Goodbye? I haven't seen any insects. This camera is good for fish. That one right there. Th that's more like- this is more classic Animal Crossing. A little bit. This is more... New Leaf. Fuck! Boy, I can't wait until I get more island. Can't wait to build my house on- on- See, now that's- This is Hoor Island, so what's that? What's that little island called? Boop! Poor Inlet Slut Island Flavor Town. DLC for this game wouldn't be too hard to do. Like, even if it's just like a little update with like 40 more recipes. I mean, yeah, it would, it would be like, you know, they'd have to model all the stuff in, but it seems like they could probably do some. You could probably do some decent updates for this game if they wanted to. There's tons of DLC coming. Perfect game for it. Caught a squid. It's off the hook. Splatoon reference. Very nice. Also, that is a very... like, detailed squid. It's weird seeing all this stuff on Switch graphics, because we went from 3DS to Switch. Like, the best visuals were either City Folk on the Wii or the 3DS version. I'm not really sure. I guess the 3DS had the better visuals. All right, goodbye, squid. Thank you for your service, faithful, flimsy fishing rod. Oh, wow. So that's what happens. <laughs> breath. It's Breath of the Wild Animal Crossing Edition. We got all the wrong updates! All the wrong changes from Breath of the Wild! What's that? You want a big, expansive world? You want an incredible physics system? Gorgeous vistas? Nope. Now your ship breaks, dog. Should I craft something? Yeah, let's craft some, uh, some, some bullshit. Whatever. Craft this bullshit. Kinda hoping to find that other boot so I can get some... ...big boot. Oh, gotta craft another fishing rod, too. Ah, Vine, hello, hello! What would you like to talk to me about? I found more creatures. Splendid, let's have a look. 
Wow, what a catch. I do believe this is a squid. Would you mind if I sent this along? By the way, have you been taking advantage of my DIY workbench lately? I have. That's great! Come to think of it, I did see you tinkering around over there just a moment ago. That reminds me, I've been meaning to share more DIY recipes with you. Mind turning on your phone? Thanks, man. I can't wait to build a basement graveyard. Like I did last time. I sent you a number of DIY recipes that require wood along with the recipe to craft an axe. Yes, I think an axe would come in quite useful on this island. Because so many other things are made of wood, hmm? I hope you keep bringing me new discoveries to examine. It's all part of the island experience. Yes, yes. There you go, Bagober. Just send that along to the museum. Belongs in a museum! It's my Harrison Ford impression. I'm sure you're aware. Red hyacinth bag. Just a little sampling of the product we sell. Go ahead and do some planting. After a few days, you'll have beautiful blooming flowers. Give it a whirl. Shame I can't, like, um, deposit multiple. Remember the flower samples I gave you? I forgot to mention something. The flowers will grow, be very strong. They'll spring up even if you just plant them and forget them. But if you water them each day, that's when something magical happens. Watering opens up the possibility of propagating and crossbreeding. Your flowers develop rare colors. Rare colors? What? How might you water them? Well, I've just sent you a DIY recipe for watering can. I like the progression in New Horizons so much more than previous Animal Crossing games so far. It's just a new dopamine hit every, like, 14 seconds. And then you're like, oh, well, I don't have the recipe materials yet, but soon I will. It really makes every part of the island, every little thing you find, just becomes 10 times more interesting. Well, maybe, maybe 1.5 times more interesting. Hold the phone, someone's calling. Blathers, is that you? Oh. What a splendid timing. Do you remember the venture we discussed? Well, it's come to fruition. Currently stationed on an island that we've decided to call Hoor Island. Yes, yes, the local fauna are just as abundant as expected, just as I told you. How many precisely? Well, there's no way of knowing just yet, but I've received, let's see, five outstanding specimens so far. Hmm. What, seriously? Well, that's very exciting. Oh, but you'll have to excuse me. I'm with a customer right now. He's moving in. Sorry to keep you waiting, that was my friend Blathers, the one who curates the museum. Believe it or not, he's going to come to our little island and help us identify and preserve local creatures. But I could use your help, fine. Since you've done so much scouting and collecting already, would you be able to help find a spot for Blathers? You need a good-sized space to really build out a world-class museum, so do keep that in mind. This is exciting, it's all coming together. Well, I need something to cross the rivers, like the vaulting pole. That would be helpful. Game resets at 5 a.m., by the way, what does that mean? Oh, that's when the day begins. I see. Thank you. Also, I like that this place is open at currently 1.30, excuse me, a.m. I always had that issue with previous Animal Crossing games until New Leaf's update, where I'm a night owl, clearly. I like to stream late, and I couldn't do much because everyone was sleeping and the stores were closed. So it seems like I could still get a lot done. It's open 24-7. So, I'm gonna just do a couple more things in this game and then switch over to Doom. I know many of you would prefer to see me stream Animal Crossing. And some definitely want to see Doom. But, there's only so much I can do at night. And I'm happy to, you know, just check out the game for a little bit and then play a fuckload of it tomorrow. So, that's what we'll do. I've, I've been anticipating Doom just as much, so this is gonna be... Equally exciting for me. Don't forget to put Blathers down. Yeah, I gotta do that. That's correct. That's a good idea. Um, again, I would love to put Blathers' museum across the river. Gotta put him down. Sorry, Luigi. Oh no, Mario! What did he do? He pecked my eye out, Luigi! I got no eye! Wait, so my goal now would be to get that the vaulting stick. Does anyone know how to get that? Blathers gives you the pole item? You can move buildings later? You can move the museum later. Cool, thanks. Wood and soft wood? Oh god, there's different types of wood. That noise when you claim Miles sounds like the beginning of Hyrule Field from Ocarina of Time. Like, just as the, the day begins. A little bit. I respect wood. 
Eh, I, I respect wood. Starting my own company called Latte Larry's, where you can come and have a cup of coffee and respect some wood. Well, wait a minute, I want to knock this damn tree down. I guess I need a better... I might need a better axe for that. Eat fruit, then chop. Only shovel? Mental. Little pill bug. Yes! I caught a pill bug. That's a tough act to swallow. Oh. Every time I see the word yes in this game, I can't help but think of Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, that, that, that's actually quite good. It's fine. It's got two trees perfectly in the front, but it had to get rid of a couple trees. I'll let Blathers know he can move in as soon as he wants. I'd hate to see you push yourself too far, but no fur off my nose if you want to rack up those nook miles and pay me back quickly. Got a few tips. Alright, let me just, um, clear up some inventory space real quick. There it is. I need soft wood for that. Um, you can have this bug. Never mind. I'll, I'll keep the bug in my pocket. Boot can be crafted into new shoes. Wait, did- are you implying we can do some new boot goofing? Just saying new boot goofing gets you claimed. Save, um, uh, sell gold? Okay, I can do that. But first... Now we're good. Almost home. Vinny, eat fruit for easy miles. Tomorrow. Man, it sucks that that tree's there for now, but we'll get rid of it eventually. Let's put this campfire here. And... That's the first day. I definitely can see myself doing more of this. If Doom didn't come out, I might play more of it, but I'm just gonna play a fuckload of it tomorrow. I love it. I love it so far. It's- it's what I want from Animal Crossing. It's- it's exactly what I want. And it's like, got some really good quality of life improvements. It's gonna make playing this a little bit easier, a little bit less of a hassle. Beautiful. Vinny, are you gonna stream it during the day so we get daytime gameplay? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Pretty good. Definitely worth the wait. Well, Animal Crossing, see you soon. Chat, this is the birth of a lot of Animal Crossing streams yet again. It's a glorious time for video games.